Hey, welcome back, everybody. Hey, to we're back. Jewels. Jewels. We're talking to this person. We know all about the jewelry <laughs> that's, ring. That's what we're doing. You yep. and Randall and the Blanc and Willie doing the legwork. I'm in the fashion business. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Was that was... Ooh, you really thought through that one. You had like 10 minutes to sit there and think through that yeah. answer. I'm in the fa um, fashion business. I steal... Th shit. Fashion... I... <laughs> Fashion business. <laughs> You're lying, Henry. How can you prove that I'm involved, detective? Boy, uh, literally a million ways. The fabric. Yeah, like, yeah, like he just like looked down and he was just like, oh, so many ways he can prove. <laughs> he can prove it in so many ways. Train ticket, Faberge AK, contraband list, any of those. Yeah. Literally all three of those. You a Faberge cigarette case today for $600. A case that is on a list of stolen items. It was Julia's idea. Get a list of society parties. And Look at that woman's face. <laughs> she looks she's like she's incredibly constipated. Yeah. <laughs> she's got like a hard <laughs> brow. Uh, 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 <laughs> crowning. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Why did Reed and LeBlanc kill Julia Randall? I, I wanted to stop. To, to get out of that life. What the fuck is she? <laughs> Ma'am, are you choking? If so, from which end? They were out. That she was going to create a, a new gang. Uh, let's try lie again. Yeah. Let's see what he says. You're lying, Harnett. I think you ordered them to kill her. It was made to look like suicide, and when the coroner saw through that, you knew it was time to run. I told you I was involved in the burglaries. I had nothing to do with Julia's death. Why would I need to run? Mm. Train ticket? Murder? Train well, no, because why would I need to run? But that's not why he's running. This is the fact that he is running. Oh, no, I guess, no, I guess that you're right. But it proves that he was trying to run. Yeah, you're right. Okay, try it. Nice. Yeah, all right. Nice. nice. That you're leaving for Mexico City tomorrow night. That it's a one-way ticket. Henry, tell me it isn't. Just pull out the fucking train ticket, like here. <laughs> yeah. Tell me so I can poop again. Marry Heather. I told Julia I wanted out, and she laughed in my face. I could pay Willie and Jim. Also, did you hear that like sound yeah. effect of bam? But he there, he wasn't doing anything. Yeah, no, that was him in the studio hitting yeah. something for emphasis. <laughs> Who is Henderson, and what is his involvement? Tell them what you know, Henry. I'll stand by you if you'll only tell the truth. No, he was leaving. There is no Henderson. Tell me about your first burglary, and don't lie. I can't remember. I don't keep a list of these things. <laughs> Does, is there a literal list? <laughs> The contraband list? Is that it? <laughs> Maybe. We have a literal list of things <laughs> that you've stolen. Why would you use the word list, sir? <laughs> like, you led me straight to that. Yeah, you're trying to get caught. Do you want to get caught? Your first burglary was a Dr. Harold Stoneman. You want to explain how he is involved or shall I? Henderson is Stoneman. He was crazy about Julia. She could get him to do whatever she wished. He threw the parties, and we arranged the burglaries. Julia never let him touch her. She just kept him hanging on the promise. Drove the good doctor almost insane. Henry Arnett, you are under arrest for burglary and for the murder of Julia Randall. Henderson is Stoneman, all right? I'm not the guy you want. Go talk to the good doctor. Oh, we will, knucklehead. Meanwhile, we're fitting you for convict stripes. Yeah, he's going to jail no matter what. Yeah, for... Collusion of first degree murder and as burglary. And burglary. At the very least. Yeah. Maybe murder. Of thousands of dollars worth of items. Yeah. Stealing from like what is practically royalty. <laughs> yeah, LA like upper crust. Yeah. It's like good luck with that one, buddy. You gonna be getting fucked in prison very soon. <laughs> they will pay people. Let's go to Dr. Stoneman's. Ten thousand dollars per inch inside that man's asshole. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Just taking that guy with you. He's like, all right, friend, you're in this with me now. 
best friend. Cut the guy some slack. So how does the doctor? Yeah, fuck. That's he robbed really his own fiance's mother. Yep. Jesus Christ. That yeah, that's kind of fucked. One hell of a pasting. I've had worse. You should have seen yourself staggering back in there like a drunken sailor. Next time you can take the runner, Roy. <laughs> I didn't box in the Marines, though, did I? I should have never told you that. <laughs> Phelps is like, I didn't expect that you'd be such a such an asshole all the time, Roy. <laughs> yeah. How could I have known? I didn't really box people with fucking two by fours. <laughs> it was usually a pretty <laughs> even matchup. <laughs> now boxing does not really prepare you for that. God damn it! When's the cutscene happen? Hey, fuck you! What are you doing? Stop running! <laughs> what are you doing? All right, that's good enough. I'm an authorized personnel. Is this where we're running? Oh, we're going back to the doctor guy. I think I might need to trigger the cutscene first. No, nothing. Oh, okay. All right. Hey, it's always better to be sorry than safe. I mean, well, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I love consequences. Me, I just take punishment left and right all day. Oh yeah, ooh, punishment. <laughs> Punishment. That was a good pun there, Roy. What did he say? How long have you been working on that one? A whole case? He said it's finally time for the good doctor to give us something to make it all better. Uh, medicine. It's a medicine <laughs> nah, joke. Nah, he's a doctor. It's a medicine joke. <laughs> Don't you love those? Hang on a moment, sister. <laughs> tell him it's Henry Arnett. And tell him it's urgent. I can't do that. Tell him. Just pull a gun out. Oh, sure. yeah. it's like, what was that? Yeah, you can do it. You have the capability. Doctor, I'm afraid Mr. Arnett is here to see you, and he says it's urgent. Send him in. Well, that didn't really achieve much. I told you never to come. Tell us the truth, Doctor. I'm so glad you came. <laughs> Ew. Prison will be better than insanity, and I'm already half insane with grief. You know that I loved her. I ruined my life for her, and yet I still love her. Will you testify in court that Arnett and Randall did these robberies? They organized the robberies. Julie would get the names of the guests attending my wife's parties. Didn't matter how much money I showered upon her, it was never enough. Seems like a classic friend zone situation, <laughs> except the whole friend thing just being a little bitch. It was like a bitch little zone, a little bitch zone. Forties, they invented friend zoning yet in the forties. So he killed her, though. No, no. Doctor him. No, the doctor. No. Yeah. Please don't cry. You look so ugly when you cry. Please just <laughs> stop. It's the forties. I can be sexist. It's fine. <laughs> All right, well, if you insist. What have I done? Oh! My fucking car! Didn't see that coming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's like, Jesus, this was a $50,000 car. I didn't have insurance yet. Starts kicking at the guy. You piece of shit. Roy is just like hard as a rock. Excuse me. <laughs> just kick her a little on the way by. Like, oh, Jesus. Operator, give me dispatch. <laughs> Some fucking asshole just jumped out a window. <laughs> Bitch is crying over here. I don't know yeah. what to do. Just calls his wife. It's like, look, I'm going to be late for dinner. <laughs> These fucking idiot just <laughs> really lengthened my work day. <laughs> to the offices of Dr. Harold Stoneman, 1646 Ivor Street, Hollywood. En route, detective. You have a message. Detective Bukowski says the suspect is named Wilson Willie the Wolf Reed. <laughs> oh, my God. Wrestler. Oh, Willie, you're wolf. No. Oh, Wolf, you're Willie. There. Mm. You're, you're oh, Wilf? Oh, Wolf. You said Wolf. I don't think I did. Yes, you did. I fuck up saying things a lot, but I think that, that was... You that said was Wilf. A, that was actually a word. No, you did Pretty get, sure I got no. that one right. No. <laughs> I say a lot of wrong words, but that didn't feel like one of them. Well, I don't care what you feel. <laughs> it's what you did. Let's go Willie, this guy's Wolf. How about Wolf, this guy's Willie? Not Wilf, Wolf. <laughs> Let's tickle this really tackle. <laughs> then he literally fell. 
<laughs> yeah. Ah, <laughs> ah, yeah, ah, 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 idiot's oh, dead. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking loser. Oh, I died. Pay for your pride. Yeah. <laughs> Quite the romantic pelts. Stick with the percentages. Broken hearts are for chumps. You're talking from experience. <laughs> Oh God! Jesus Christ! Oh shit! Oh man, they made this fucking real. Just get in the car, <laughs> just, <laughs> just drive, drive off. <laughs> he's just like attached. God, he's all fucking limp and shit. I don't like it. And I'm trying to see his face. We actually parked like right there. The car's gone now. But we parked really close to this. His arms all mangled. Yeah, it's weird. It's like a opposite side. It should be. I don't like that. That looks painful. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> See you guys later. So where are we going now? Wait, who actually... I guess Willie yeah. killed her. Yeah. No, the two dudes. One of them was already killed. Presumably yeah. by this guy yeah. that we're about to find. Because he was the one with the... He was the one who tried to kill Arnett. Mm -hmm. He was the one with the 2x4 that beat me over the head. Yeah. And it, that same 2x4 was used to murder his partner. Oh, yeah. You're right. Right. So I mean, he's a 2x4 sort of guy. Right. Oh, it's right around the corner. That was quick. Ooh. You like that music. I He's did. around here somewhere. A big guy. Neighbors say he always wears basketball shoes and a cream jacket. And get this. The kids around here say he plays the harmonica. Find the game well and have the commander set up a dragnet. We want the area closed off. We'll take this out of the I don't know what any of those words mean, so. Dragnet? Yeah. It's a uh, dragon. They just say it weird. <laughs> that was the have, 40s way of saying it. Have, have the have the officer set up the dragon. <laughs> get the dragon out. <laughs> like Willy like comes out and just <laughs> like, oh shit! I give up. Christ! Yeah. That's an actual dragon. <laughs> what the fuck? I don't know. The police had it. Mythical beasts. <laughs> Christ! <laughs> I should not have. Man, I really would have second second thought this crime if I had known you guys had a fucking dragon. <laughs> Jesus. Um, yeah, so you were complaining and whining and bitching earlier about the, <laughs> <I> <laughs> about the fact that, uh, Vice was working on a, on a murder case, yeah. but they have been collaborating with Homicide this whole time. That's true, that's true. Wait. Fucking bitch. You hear that? No. What is that? What do you think that is? A guitar. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like an accordion to me. That, that man, that thing really carries. Yeah. I never liked harmonicas. They're cool, they're fun. I don't know. They sound shitty. Oh, Jesus. Wow, do you like those pictures in the background? No, I almost... I, I was gonna <laughs> shoot that dude. Hey, you've killed a lot of people so far. What's one more? Yeah, seriously. No, me first, me first. Fuck you. <laughs> God damn it. Bam, 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 bam. You have a gross ass, <laughs> Roy. <laughs> Roy, does your wife ever tell you you don't have a wife? Your hookers ever tell you you have a gross ass, <laughs> Roy? Roy. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Almost got him. Yeah. What if I did just stop him as he, as he was running? Doesn't seem like the game is against that right now. Yeah. I mean, unless you use your gun, so... Oh, yeah, no, Phelps, really, just take your time there. Yeah, seriously. First time that Roy might actually beat me to this guy. Did he go upstairs? I mean, I guess there's no way to get to Clearly, there. that's kind of what I'm doing at the moment. <laughs> Where, Where the it? fuck Where is, is he? he? Me first. Aha, Roy, suck. You suck dick, Roy, you suck. Suck big dick. Where's this guy hoping to escape to? Like, he's going... Really cornering himself. Where's this guy? Hold it. Huh. He's gotta be around here somewhere. No place to go unless you grew wings. Like a dragon? Oh shit. There he is. Wait, the son of a bitch. What the fuck? Did you see that? Yeah, I did. Blood flying out of him. Or we could just corner up there and take him in like the regular way. Motherfucker, this guy is still alive. There we go. Oh, now uh, he's not. Oh, oh, he almost, oh, he almost fell. I want to see it. 
Julia Randall's folks are flying in from New York tomorrow to claim the body. Delivery oh, and loading man. area. We're on the roof. So perfect. Looked what like what she the was fuck? Porcelain. She really made an impression on me. Julia had that impact on a lot of men. Christ, You're not special. <laughs> you guys did good work here today. Roy, I think you should buy your brother officers a drink. Do you now? That's very generous of you, <laughs> Lieutenant. Well, well, Roy's got some some problems, got some issues. Oh, he missed two clues. Yeah, I know. What an asshole! Wow, fourteen thousand dollars of vehicle <laughs> damage, <laughs> and that's one that's an, star. Oh God! Oh, I missed the morphine. Oh yeah, but one star. It nope. has to be the vehicle damage. And the missed morphine, probably. Together. But no, I think more the vehicle damage, probably. honestly. Yeah, 14, I still solved the lot. case. Yeah. Wow. Fuck. One star. That's the worst I've ever done yeah, I didn't even on know a you case. Could get one Literally star. ever. <laughs> it's no, it's this is what it was. It was getting caught yeah. by the dude, even though I did nothing to get caught. Yeah. And then the car breaking down. Yeah, so you failed it twice. Yeah. yeah. And then didn't get two clues, and then also caused getting fifteen thousand dollars of vehicle damage. Also getting caught by the dude while we were walking mm. as well. Getting caught twice while we were walking. Yeah, both of which I blame level design on because there was nothing I could hide sure. myself behind. But yeah, anyway, um, we're gonna see if there's a thing afterward. Real quick, just gonna check. Just real quick. Uh, oh, 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 shit! What do you know? It's the war, man. I don't like this music. I was gonna say that floor test really needs to calm down. Yeah. <laughs> why? Why do you even need a f person who plays the flute in a war zone? I have no idea. Ask people from the Civil War. <laughs> He's ri wow. They used to do that, didn't they? Uh, yeah. That like, have little like guy the playing like Yankee Doodle or whatever. Did they ever shoot those people? Probably. Yeah. Probably a lot. They probably aim for them first, honestly. <laughs> yeah, it's God, the music that sucks. Guy. Yeah. I know he doesn't have a gun. He poses no danger to me, but fuck him. The whole company is gone, Hank. The Major is dead. We're being overrun. We have to get off of this hill. That's one of our 50 cows still firing, Cole. The 22nd are still fighting. All right, so I agree with myself. I'm going to leave. <laughs> Bye. See you later. That's the dude's arm. Did you see it? No. There was a, There's an arm behind Cole. Oh, just like still lying there. Yeah. Is that Cole? Yeah. Oh, shit. It's over, Cole. Looks like you're one of the lucky ones. Say goodbye to your friend Hank, Jack. Oh, oh, good. Jesus Christ. He was your friend too, Cole. Is this how you're going to leave him? Are you wounded? I scratch, Kelso. Well, get up and get out of that fucking hole. Find a stretcher while you're at it so we can get him out of here. Who's the senior officer here? I guess that's you, Cole. You were up here all night? Yes, sir. And your command? Gone, sir. Sorry to hear that, son. God damn it, we have beaten these bastards back. It's the beginning of the end, and it was one here. You're a goddamn hero, son. What's your name? Lieutenant Phelps, sir. I'm recommending you for the Silver Star and promoting you to first lieutenant. For living. Really, you're just lucky, but take it anyway. Yeah, so he was referred to as a war hero for just kind of laying down. Yeah, and just not dying as much as everyone else was dying. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, even Kelso is like, you're a fucking coward. <laughs> like, he basically said that straight up. Yeah. And the dude's was like, yeah, you d didn't die, even though everybody else that you were in charge of did. You probably you shouldn't be a leader anymore, because <laughs> that's kind of the point that's, of leading. Yeah. But uh, actually, here's a promotion. You're a <laughs> lieutenant now. Enjoy that, Mr. Phelps. Mr. Phelps. <laughs> I don't know, I find his accent funny. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, you know what else is Mr. Phelps? You know what else you find funny? You know what else uh, is is uh, in charge of everyone being dead? <laughs> Jelps. <laughs> First or some shit. Yeah, this guy is far away. Jump in! Woo! 
<laughs> Can you imagine if you're just like driving and you just see like a cop car <laughs> like, through the air? Well, so this isn't a cop car, this is a regular car. That's true. I stole Even this better. from someone. <laughs> it's not stealing if you're me, a cop. Common gear. Yeah. yeah, exactly. It's never stealing <laughs> if you're a police officer. <laughs> I just keep driving. Immediately just drive away.